If you need to cool something down real quick, you don't have ice or access to a freezer, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to make a thermoelectric cooling block consisting of an aluminum water block with water flowing through it and two layers of thermoelectric modules. And this is the one you want to use. This operates at 12 volts and uh, you want four of them which will fit this kind of block. If you have a smaller block, then you just need two of them. You need a computer power supply with 12 volts and 5 volts out. And you can use a, a uh, terminal block to connect things up easy, more, more efficiently. And you'll need plenty of thermal paste, get it in tubes like this. You'll need some aluminum strip. And you'll need a fish pump or other uh, aquarium tank pump and some cold water. And just somewhere to put the water. So that's basically your setup. And I'll go over some quick construction details. So first of all, here's your block. On the bottom are two of the thermoelectric modules side by side. Those ones are operated at 12 volts from the computer power supply. Then there's some aluminum sheet that has been cut, cut to the right size. Then two more thermoelectric modules. These ones are being operated at five volts and that makes the unit more efficient for, be for getting uh, better cooling. And then on the top you've got some aluminum strip that has been cut down to size. So basically that's it. I have the unit running right now and uh, water's flowing and uh, I'm gonna check it and it's yep it's pretty pretty cold. I just turned it on actually so it's pretty cold. I know this one can get down to ice temperatures. Uh, I'm in a really hot garage right now so not the best conditions and I think my cold water is warm so but anyway a quick way of cooling things uh, down uh, without having ice or other things and uh, easier to set up and use. These things are not real expensive. You can find them on eBay or Amazon or on uh, AliExpress, uh, any one of those places. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.